Kellyanne Conway, winning formula for Trump involves fewer insults Former Trump adviser Kellyanne Conway offered former President Trump advice in an interview Monday, urging the GOP nominee to throw fewer insults at his political opponents and focus more on policy differences. The winning formula for President Trump is very plain to see, Conway told Fox Business anchor Larry Kudlow. It's fewer insults, more insights and that policy contrast. Trump has been slinging insults at Vice President Harris as she has risen to the top of the Democratic ticket. Harris is now neck and neck with the former president, with the Hill slash Decision Desk HQ's polling index placing her just 1.4 points ahead of Trump, 47.8% to 46.4%. He's got that hunger, swagger, underdog, underestimated of 2016 back, Larry and you overlay that with the four-year presidential record where we did have growth, we did have wage growth, we had low unemployment and the whole nine that you and I know," Conway said in the clip, highlighted by Mediaite. The former president has also faced blowback for questioning Harris's racial identity after a controversial interview late last month at the National Association of Black Journalists convention in Chicago. Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican South Carolina, a Trump ally, has advised him against continuing such attacks. So, here's what I would say to President Trump. The problem I have with Kamala Harris is not her heritage, it is her judgment, Graham said earlier this month. Every day we're talking about her heritage and not her terrible, dangerous liberal record throughout her entire political life is a good day for her and a bad day for us. So, I would encourage President Trump to prosecute the case against Kamala Harris's bad judgment," the senator added. Harris has been gaining momentum in the first few weeks of her campaign, garnering key endorsements from figures in her party, pulling in large halls from fundraising and officially becoming the Democratic nominee in a short period of time. Her assent followed President Biden's decision to withdraw from the race late last month after weeks of pressure from his fellow Democrats to step aside. The Hill has reached out to the Trump campaign.